Hi, Barry Callister of Barry Callister Photography and Photographer's Freedom. Today I'm at Woolgooga Lake, the beautiful Woolgooga Lake in Woolgooga on the mid north coast of New South Wales. And I'm here for one very specific reason and that is bird photography. The lake here is an amazingly beautiful place, but it's also a haven for a lot of birds. You come out here, you're gonna see seagulls, you're gonna see egrets, you're going to see cormorants, you're going to see uh, rainbow lorikeets, so many other birds, swallows. But the reason I'm here today is because there are three osprey that live just across the lake from here. I can actually see one of them in the tree across from me here. Unfortunately, with my 55 to 200 mil lens here, I can't get close enough to it. Uh, what I'm going to do probably is have to head over to the other side of the lake because, oh my God, and here it goes flying right past me. Yeah, come back, come back, come back. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's not very often this happens during the middle of a video. Fantastic. <laughs> see, this is what I love about nature. It shows up when you least expect it. I wish you could see this beautiful thing in action. Here it comes again. No. He's flying. Yep, he's going to come over. No, he's gone flying off over that way. Wow. I was hoping that might happen while I was filming, but... Jesus, and he's coming back. Nope. Yes, it's hard to tell. He's kind of cruising around on the, on the uh, wind up over there. So I come here once a week for Tai Chi classes. Just over there, there's a park over there. We have Tai Chi there every Tuesday morning for an hour. And just after, or mostly during that hour is when the osprey will feed. They'll catch fish here in the lake behind me and I've always missed them. I'm really keen to get a shot of them grabbing a fish out of the water. Uh, with this equipment that I've got now, I think that's gonna be extremely hard, but damn it, I'm gonna do it. You know I'm gonna do it. Um, so there's actually three osprey that live here. Their nest is just across the lake from me in a big gum tree over there. I might try and take you over there and show it to you later on. And According to uh, people that I've spoken to, they are probably an adult pair with a, with a young one or one that was born last season. So it's really amazing to see. I mean, the lake here itself is actually quite shallow. You can actually wade right across there. I'm not gonna do that today because I'm in tracksuit pants and thongs, but uh, you could do that if you really wanted to. But it's just a great place to hang out and just take photos, you know, just to, I mean, just to experience nature and, just to sit here and let it happen just like it just did then. So um, I think I might sit around here for a little bit longer and then I'm gonna pack up and I'll take you over to the other side of the lake and we'll see if we can find them over there. So, um, cause I think I noticed the other two earlier, they were way back over there heading out towards the ocean. So I think they're gone fishing in the ocean, but uh, that one has also done that just now. So all three of them are gone but I'll take you over there. There's a lot of other birds over there that we can look at. So uh, let's get going. All right, so I've been home and uh, had some lunch and sort of changed my clothes because it's a little bit of a hike into this side of the lake. But uh, I haven't checked the photos I took this morning other than just on the camera, but on the camera, they look to be a little bit not focused, but that's what you get when you get surprised by an osprey just like that. So anyway, so I just got to walk out past this uh, local uh, rugby field here. And then on the other side here, you've got this beautiful bushland, which is filled with birds and things to photograph, possibly snakes as well. There's a lot of diamond pythons around here, um, red belly black snakes. Um, a lot of other poisonous type snakes. So that's the other reason I wanted to go home was to put my hiking boots on, not thongs, just in case. I mean, it's pretty cold today, so snakes shouldn't be active, but you really never know. All right, so let's head in here and see what the, see if the osprey are back from their hunt. So I've reached the edge of the rugby field. Now we just got to go in here over this bridge and into the bush, so let's go. All right, 
right now, just a little quick note about camera settings. Um, when you check out this cool fallen tree behind me, first of all, check that out. Pretty amazing, isn't it? So yeah, camera settings. When you're heading from a bright environment into a canopy like this, remember that you're going to be losing light, right? Because you're coming from full sun into shade. So it's pretty obvious that you're going to need to change your camera settings, right? So um, my settings, my base settings that I use as a, like a home base and I'll move out from there uh, is aperture of f8 and then my ISO is at 400 and then I've got the shutter speed I think around 800 at the moment but that will be a bit too fast it won't let enough light in at that shutter speed so I'll have to slow that down if I find a bird here or something to photograph but those you know the, the aperture of f8 and the ISO of 400 are a good place to start my Nikon the Nikon D5200 is not good at ISOs above uh, look above probably 640 I would say uh, in my opinion it's extremely noisy and uh, you can edit that out in post but you know it's then you lose detail so I tend to stay with 400 and um, so many little birds here you can hear them or hopefully you can hear that on my lav mic there's something there just flying across yeah so I try and stick around I think I just got scared by the noise of my drink bottle then. <laughs> um, I try and stick around 400 ISO and that gives me room to move. I don't actually know anything about Osprey. I know nothing other than what I've learned from watching them there at the lake. If you're planning on photographing a bird, learn what you can about them, learn about their feeding habits, learn how they feed, when they feed where they feed. You can do that by Googling or you can do it by just getting out here and just sitting and watching. Sit and just watch them and see what they do. So we'll go over here and I'm going to show you where their nest is. There were two of the osprey sitting in those dead trees right there. They were up in there somewhere. So that's just a nice little painted rock that someone's placed there and they're all along here in certain spots in the trees. We'll go out and walk along the the banks of the river there, the banks of the lake there, and see if we can see their nest from the shoreline. 